Hello everyone, this is Nanishwar Sanak, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Chemistry at Maratha Vidya Prasara Samaj, Arts, Commerce and Science College, Dindarun. In this video lecture, we will discuss about the molecular orbital energy level diagram for Ne2 molecule. Let us start. Basically, Ne2 molecule is formed by the combination of two atoms of muon. Let us see the electronic configuration of muon atom. The electronic configuration for the new one is 1s2, 2s2, and 2p6. Similarly, electronic configuration for the second combining new one atom is 1s2, 2s2, and 2p6. Let us write this electronic configuration of valence shell in the tabulated form one by one. For first atom, 2s2, 2 and 2p6. Similarly, for second atom, 2s2, 2 and 2p6. While writing the actual molecular orbital diagram, we have to first of all write the Valence shell atomic orbitals in the increasing order of energy. Let us write the increasing order of atomic orbitals of valence shell. The freest atomic orbital of muon atom is written on the lower energy side, and two p atomic orbitals of the same valence shell write on the higher energy side. Similarly, for the second atom, we have to write the atomic orbital that is two s at the bottom side and two p at the higher energy side. When this 8 atomic orbital combines together, it produces an 8 molecular orbital. Out of this 8 molecular orbital, the 4 molecular orbital is bonding molecular orbital and 4 molecular orbital is antibonding molecular orbital. When 2s atomic orbital combines together, it produces an lower energy bonding molecular orbital that is sigma 2s bonding molecular orbital. Similarly, higher energy antibonding molecular orbital called as sigma star 2s antibody molecular orbital. Similarly, when 2p atomic orbital combines together, it produces lower energy sigma 2px bonding molecular orbital and slightly higher energy pi 2py and pi 2pz degenerate pi molecular orbitals. The higher energy pi star 2py and pi star 2pz antibonding molecular orbital is the counterpart of pi bonding molecular orbital. And last, highest energy antibonding molecular orbital that is the sigma star 2ps antibonding molecular orbital. The next important point is filling of electron from atomic orbitals to the molecular orbital one by one according to the above principle and rule of maximum multiplicity. First electron goes to the lower energy and second electron also comes to the lower energy. Third electron goes to the higher energy sigma star 2s antibonding molecular orbital. Similarly, fourth also. Fifth electron comes to the lowest unoccupied sigma 2px bonding molecular orbital and sixth electron also comes to the sigma 2px bonding molecular orbital. Next, seventh electron comes to the degenerate pi 2py and eighth electron comes to the pi 2pz bonding molecular orbital according to the answer of maximum multiplicity. The ninth electron comes to the pi 2py and tenth electron comes to the pi 2pz bonding molecular orbital. The remaining 6 electron goes to the antibody molecular orbital one by one according to the above principle and answer of maximum multiplicity. After complete filling of pi antibody molecular orbital, the remaining 2 electron goes to the sigma antibody molecular orbital which is formed by the combination of 2p x atomic orbital. And after complete filling of electron, calculating the number of electron in bonding molecular orbital and antibonding molecular orbital, we get a result of similar number of electrons present in the bonding and antibonding molecular orbital. Let us count the number of electrons in bonding and antibonding molecular orbital. 2, 4, 6 and 8. There are 8 electrons present in the bonding molecular orbital and there are 8 electrons which is present in the antibonding molecular orbital. Now, next important point is electronic configuration for the molecular orbital. Basically, the 1s atomic orbitals or electrons does not participate in the molecular formation and that's why we write the TSK for the 2 muon atom which is undergoes the combination for the formation of the E2 molecule. And the electronic configuration is like this. K, K. After that, sigma 2s2, which is lower energy. After that, sigma star 2s2, which is higher in energy. After that, sigma 2px, which is somewhat higher in energy than sigma star 2s. After that, pi 2py and pi 2pz, which is degenerate, and the number of electrons in it on the parenthesis. 
After that, the number of electrons in pi star 2py and pi star 2pz antibonding molecular orbital and last one sigma star 2px and the number of electrons in it is 2. And the final electronic configuration is kk sigma 2s to 2 sigma star 2s to 2 sigma 2px raised to 2 pi 2py raised to 2 degenerate with the pi 2pz raised to 2 higher energy pi star 2py raised to 2 degenerate with the pi star 2pz raised to 2 and last one sigma star 2px raised to 2. The next important point is energy involved during the formation of Ne2 molecule. There are total 8 number of electrons which is present in the bonding molecular orbital and 8 electrons present in the anti-bonding molecular orbital that we seen earlier. Put this value of number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital and anti-bonding molecular orbital in the formula that is number of electrons in the bonding molecular orbital into the minus beta plus number of electron in antibody molecular orbital into plus beta. After putting the value, we get the equation of 8 into minus beta plus 8 into plus 8 beta. After solving this, we get the value of zero stabilization energy. That means there is no net evolution of energy during the formation of an E2 molecule. That means no formation of new one, new one bond. The next important point is calculation of bond order. Basically, bond order is calculated by using the formula number of electron in bonding molecular orbital minus number of electron in antibonding molecular orbital divided by 2. After putting the values, we get the equation of 8 minus 8 divided by 2 and the result is 0. That's why there is no bond formation between the two muon atom. That is, there is no bonding. The next important point is stability. On the basis of these two values, that is, energy evolved during the formation of an E2 molecule and the bond order values, the Ne2 molecule is not formed or not exist at all. Thank you. Thank you for watching.